Well, John Hunter Nemechek had quite a burnout uh, after winning his Xfinity race last weekend at Martinsville Speedway, and it brings up the issue of these burnouts with the fire that we've seen and just have their times come and passed. And I, I'll ask you, the driver, Kyle Petty, is it is it is it time to pass on these uh, these burnouts, or is there is there some other creative way for these drivers to celebrate their victories? Has their time come and passed? I didn't know their time had ever come. Uh, I've I've never been a fan of it. I know the fans. In the, in the beginning, we're a fan of the burnout. Um, the problem is uh, I grew up working on cars. I grew up putting bodies on cars and, and, and hanging them, putting them together and changing springs and changing shocks and engines and stuff. And this is just destruction to me every time I see it and always has been. And, and, and I want to say this, and this is what I want to say. I, I, think the, I think the burnout has become like, the, the, like spiking the ball in the NFL was. Everybody did it, so what's special about it? There's nothing special about it. Joey Logano does a great job um, with his burnouts and the way he takes the steering wheel off and holds it out the window. That's different. That's a little bit of a twist. The way Kyle Busch does his burnout and then emerges through the smoke and bows to the crowd, that's a little bit different. Everybody else is just doing the same thing, man. Just doing the same thing. Um, so when, when I look at it, I, I think we need to – Carl Edwards had a backflip. Alan Kowicki had a Polish victory lap. If you're going to win and you want to make a statement, do something different than everybody else. Hey, how about just driving in the victory lane? What, what a change that would be. You, you know what I mean? Just do something different. Do something original. Um, you know, I, I think, and I will go on record and say this, the most embarrassing I was for this sport was when Daryl Waltrip did the icky shuffle. What's Daryl Waltrip got doing the icky shuffle? You just copied somebody else in your celebration. Come up with come on, quit being grumpy, quit being a grumpy yeah, person. Come up, listen, it's come show, up with your it's, own it's celebration. About show business, it's about it, entertainment. It, it, listen, come on. It, it's that's not if the show is the same every week, it's not even show business anymore. Even wrestling changes up their moves and their players. Give me something different. You're not giving me anything but burnt down cars and burn up tires, and that's all you're giving me. And it's just not a big deal. Now, all the drivers get out, they hand the kid a flag. Now it's a little sentimental. Let's tug at the heartstrings there. Do something different. Just give me something. I want to see somebody win and do something different. Man, I don't know if I want to follow Grumpy Kyle Petty, but I will. Um, here's what I think. If NASCAR feels that there's nothing nefarious as far as they feel the car is inspected beforehand, then I'm not going to tell a driver who won the race. It's the goal of the weekend. It's a huge accomplishment. We're all taking it for granted because we see guys win five, six, seven races a year. There are drivers out there that have never won a race. It would be a career-defining moment. I'm not going to tell them how to celebrate. I do agree with Kyle that a little creativity would go a long way. I would love to see something different. The wheel out the window for Logano was a oh-my-goodness moment for me. Um, but, you know, even this burnout for Logano or for Larson was pretty impressive. Man, he made it the whole lap. Uh, so I, I gave him some style points. But I am never going to sit here and tell a guy – who just proved that he was the best on a certain day at a certain track. However he wants to celebrate, as long as truthful, honest, and true excitement, I'm going to cheer it on. Steve, let me ask you as, as the crew chief. There are some people who've talked about since this uh, uh, John Hunter Nemechek burnout is some fans are kind of don't like the burnout because they say, look, it's, it's damaging the car. It's extra work for the crew. Um, take us through that because, look, after all these races, these cars are getting all – taken apart and torn apart and, and redone for the next race. So really, is there that much work for the crew guys after a burnout? Zero. There's zero extra work for that Xfinity car of John Hunter Nemechek. That car was a short track car. Every piece of sheet metal was coming off. Every pit of paint's coming off. Every part and piece is coming off. That, that didn't add any. The only more work is finding the car to jack it up, to put two rear tires on, to roll it to victory lane. That's it. Um, you know, the days of what Kyle has spoke to, which is working on the cars that you raced again the next week, those days are long gone. These cars are brand new, at least the cars at the front of the field contending for wins. They're brand new every week or like new, completely rebuilt. Um, so I'll go back to as long as we don't think someone's trying to hide something and it's truly a celebration. Um, like John Hunter Nemechek, look, it's been a rough go to start this year. They've had a lot of things go wrong. Do I think this was a little over the top? Yes. If he did this the next time he won a race, I might say, okay, come on, man. I got it. Enough's enough. But I think this was an emotional win for an emotional driver. So, Kyle, are we going to see any burnouts on the Kyle Petty charity ride? 
Well, since Max Pappas is not going with us this year, then we probably won't because Max Pappas did a couple of burnouts the year the years he went with us. I will I will say that, and it was pretty fantastic because he could make a pretty cool loop with a motorcycle. But uh, no, man, but we're really excited about the charity ride. You can see I'm in the charity ride office right now. Uh, it's our 27th annual charity ride. We've raised over 21 million dollars uh, for Victory Junction for other children's charities. Uh, this year we're doing Salt Lake City to Ely, Nevada, Tonopah, Las Vegas. Your home, Steve, Las Vegas, baby, uh, Cedar City, Utah, and up to Moab, and then uh, back over to the Salt Lake City. So we're doing a little bit of a, a different ride. But we're so excited, man. COVID kind of put us behind, so we we lost one year in, in our cycle. But 27 years we've been doing this, 27 years giving back to and helping kids go to camp. And uh, so many people have been a part of it, from Michael Waltrip to Tony Stewart to, uh, man, I, golly, Eric Jones rode with us a couple years ago. Harry Gant's been with us every year. Guys like that. Rick Allen, NBC's Rick Allen's going with us. So uh, it is, we are really, really pumped about this year. Maybe more so than than any of the years in the past. I'm really excited to get on a motorcycle uh, and, and, and ride in the Kyle Petty Charity Ride. Well, I can't wait to see your celebration when you cross the finish line at the Charity Ride then. Yeah, I, listen, I give somebody a check. I don't get to get one, but I give somebody a check, and that that's a bigger celebration for me than anything else. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.